The game has started. How about my voice? I'm not saying anything. Well, now I am. I'll uh, reduce the volume on that a little bit. It's already at one though. Hmm. Tie jump's already at one. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice, thanks. Cool, now uh, I guess the, the main part is I need to just get used to uh, just doing this. Seems like I have to keep coming out, but now I have Mii of the corner, this press, and like something on this side. Just looks really funny though. <laughs> okay, so black is basically alive now, and naturally I will be pressing here. Okay, well, a bunch of Josaki is usually like push here and then pull back. Yeah, actually, this happens a lot when black has a stone here and it's a one space low pincer Josaki where white responded to this pincer with this. Uh, is that what I want though? Well, pushing from behind doesn't seem as good, so. Yeah, so I think I am turning here. Yeah. I don't like that I haven't had time to extend this one, but it really doesn't matter because if I play here, it's really annoying for this black group, and I can also jump towards this. Huh. Black is playing something I didn't quite expect. Yeah, I'm not really afraid of anything here, but I'm somehow I'm tempted to make this double ponuki, but if I do, I feel like I got cheated from being able to capture this stone when black normally would have played on this side somewhere. So one other option is to kind of lock black in here. I have to worry about this black attachment here, but uh, and then black connecting under, but it doesn't look like it works too well for black. So, yeah, I think something on this side. Uh, I'm pretty thick, so I can stretch a little farther. Maybe this is enough. Or actually, can I just pincer this whole thing? That actually seems better. Yeah, let's go a little bit aggressive here. Okay, so I can definitely cut here, but it's always worth reading out just in case of um, something bad happening. So black Ataris, and I have to worry about black Ataring down and then playing here, because I have to at least make sure that um, this group here I have crawling will actually not just die. This zone could affect things. 
but I have a bit of a ladder sequence where it's like wedge, Atari, connect, Atari, extend, lock, Atari, and then Atari this way, and then extend here for a double threat on both. Whoa, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Because usually it's always like a dog or something, or some like random default picture. Yeah, I think only the Korean client is able to like upload pictures properly. Shin Wojong. Okay, so. Uh, if I just turn, it gives black the chance to maybe connect, and that doesn't seem as good for me. So I'll do this, and it's kind of a trap because now I can play here. And black doesn't even have the resource of connecting under either because of this stone. So black is kind of wrecked here now. Because now black has to come back and make this thing alive. My usual account is Bankyo on Taijam, and I and I and then I tried um, logging in with this account just in case, and I I realized like I forgot about it. I didn't even know. So now I'm just trying to rank up this account. Uh yeah okay so I just get this. And I'm happy. Four more games. So this black group doesn't really have much of a function out here anymore. Locally, I'm expecting black to play this kick, but then at the same time, this outside group's gonna get messed up, so... I guess I might also be expecting this, um... Due to White's Liberty Shortage, this move actually works pretty well to seal this part off. But... It's not really something White cares about at the same time. Okay, it looks like Black might have to sacrifice something? What's going on here? Um, this should be enough for me. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. What? I mean, even if I just bumped here and then uh, cut there, that would have been really happy for me too. And honestly, it might have even been safer for me, but this is hard to resist. Honestly, black might just be dead here. So if I do any kind of Hane, then black has this Sente and would live with this move. So um, I should just go straight down. I don't know, Black's pretty wrecked. The last guy I played was like extremely wrecked as well. So the last guy I played though was like not even 5 10. He was like a fresh Taijan 5 10. I don't think I can get double rank up though because I have these old losses back here. Yeah, if, but if there was like two, maybe two less losses or three less losses, then it would have still been possible. Oh, it's that move, yeah, okay. So... I don't even have Aji here. That's great. Okay, I, I, I want to harass this thing, but right now it's not really the time. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense.
game is started. I usually always go with this um, type of opening with black if I want to play serious. I think Haley is the same about this opening. What is that? What is that? That just makes me want to kick something. Okay, so since I can still attack this white group, um, probably this makes the most sense even though I have a pretty big weakness. It just means I should come back as soon as possible and play something like here or... I mean, I used to, like when I was weaker, I would play it here, but then later I... Uh, I mean, you gotta play something because it's really painful if white plays here and sometimes white can play here directly, which is just... Really horrible if it actually works well. Um, but then the problem with this is that if white has a stone here, they can still come in with an attachment. It's also subject to forcing moves from the center. And this move just feels more thick and it sets up a better move along this side. And uh, if white does try to go like hit your underbelly after you play this, Problem is that move for white's not really sente anyway because you're pretty strong here, so yeah, just uh, it's all about like not being worried about losing points early in the game because you didn't really have the points in the first place. Okay, this shape really makes me want to do horrible things to it at some point, but right now. I'm honestly pretty happy with what I'm getting. Uh, I would rather play like this, but there's always like some weird crosscut potential here if I don't play the tight one. I think I should just be content with this. This is... Oh, I could actually um, peep here and get white to make me put the move down that I need to play. But you gotta think about it because you might end up with just like a, a stranded weak group that didn't really end up so nice. Like, yeah, I'm not really interested in that right now, actually. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I already gained so much here. So I'm going to respond passively here as I should. So it's either one of these two moves. Um, that's what I was taught a long time ago. Usually you don't want to play here. This move is good when you have a stone around here and there's a weak group up here and then you kick and come out and attack two weak groups. But normally kick is just not good. You still have to come out anyway, otherwise white is going to seal you off. So yeah, um, this one's better for points and stuff around here, but this one has less attitude. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which one I prefer, so I just play what I like visually. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be really um, nice soon if I can time it right to come out here because even just coming out, out here at all is pretty much like a peep of sorts on all this stuff up here. Uh, but, you know, the chance of losing Sente and it's, it's just, I don't want to do that, so... Since this stone is one space closer um, than the star point, you know, it's actually natural to think about invading right here. But you don't want to do it too early. Mm. Plus, white has this influence here, so um, it just might not be very balanced to 
do that. Yeah. This is enough though because uh, actually any move over here for white now is a little awkward. Oh. If white does this, I'm happy to take the corner because white's a little over concentrated. And especially with this move here, it's really easy to eliminate this territory too. So, uh, yeah. Honestly though, I could jump this unpopular Joseki of jumping. Because after white goes there and I go here, I can still get the corner later. But I like simple. Because now, now it's obvious that white's center is building and I have so much territory that I can just focus on balancing out the game now. Uh, so I would play here. And I probably can, I'm actually not too afraid of this center, but I would stop to think here actually and see if I can't um, use these weaknesses as my way into the center and maybe even in Sente. What I'm worried about is that I play something like this and white bumps and I extend and white fixes against that peep and if I have to actually fix against this. I wouldn't want to have that Gote, but maybe because I'm so solid, see that's the good thing about having a shape like this is that when stuff when stuff starts happening in here, sometimes it just won't work for white because your shape makes it not work by being solid. So uh, this requires a little bit of exact reading. Like I really do want to come out because I don't. I, I think if White plays something like this, it's locally quite nice actually. Uh, I do have this, and that would um, require White to need a ladder, or White would drive me out by sending me this way and then sending me that way. Which would be fine for me, actually, because I'm not weak here. Man, so much I want to do. But even if white just extended, I can't get this stone connected back. So actually, yeah, okay. Just a simple jump should be annoying enough. Because if I'm white, that's what I did, right? I put myself in white shoes. If I was white here... I would not know what to do because like this attachment is not a good move um it just ends up over concentrated with everything else so yeah that's what white gets for playing all these these knights moves and not wait whoa 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 what is this okay this i'm not afraid of this is nothing but wow this is some hardcore stuff. Of course white can get safety, but then these stones get cut off. I like that. I think I like that. And then we both just run together. Mm. Or I push the blunt way. That's dangerous though, my shape. It also gives white the potential to live locally. So this one seems better. Yeah, okay. This is going to get messy. I don't usually read with my mouse, but you know, if I'm if I'm streaming or recording things, it might be useful for some people to see what I'm thinking about.
I guess another thing I could have done is test over here first, but uh. actually this seems awesome enough for black, so why am I complaining? This is horrible for white. <laughs> yeah, I love the uh, Akira Hikaru rivalry themes. Hikaru no Go has one of the best soundtracks of anime I've ever heard. And everything sounds like space and aliens. I'm getting into a bad mindset now because of how happy I am about the position. I'm, I'm trying to think about just surrounding this, um, but that's not really, it's probably not the best way to think about it. But I do want to make sure that this thing doesn't end up um, just under attack. Uh, I want to pincer, that's probably what I want to do. My first instinct was to lean on here because, uh, well, honestly, that would be quite big. Maybe I should just play that blunt strategy. At the same time, though, White could stop in the middle of this and just start jumping out here. Actually, I don't care, do I? Because then I can still capture this one. But then, yeah, okay. So I am worried about losing territory here, but man, I'm that's that's just like unreasonable thinking right there. Like I should just trade. Hmm. I think this might be better. Ooh, what? I really expected white to come out in this case. Interesting. Whoa, yeah, this guy, okay, fine. This well, this guy's about to rank up too. What? Is this really what Taijun 510 is? Then how did I lose those games back there? Man, maybe I was just uh, in bad spirits or something. I don't know. As soon as he's done here, I'm just going to like jump in here or something. Or maybe I need to, go to come here. Either way, though, it's like pretty much game over as soon as this becomes mine. Now... Do I want to honey here? Probably not, because if I if I honey, even if he plays passively, I have to come back and go te. But I'm hoping he'll finish by playing here. That's what I want. But then what if he keeps pushing? He might not ever have to play there. He might do hardcore things. And if I extend, he's gonna keep like pushing, pushing, pushing. That is... Uh, wow, so many possibilities. Alright, alright, I'm just gonna play the simplest variation possible because I am confident now. This is just morbidly obese. All right, that's the last push I'm going to give you, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, I'm pretty happy about that, actually. So I want to come here now because even instead of going here, just living somewhere down here would be more than enough. But then he might kick me and do hardcore things and try to kill me. Uh, so yeah, let's just take this. But this is totally over, like this thing, and this corner, and this corner. Oh, he's gonna play here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling. 
But I've actually never been killed by this before. Everyone who tries to do it just like self-destructs. Although I wouldn't even mind sacrificing my corner if I can get enough out of it from all this. Even with this Hanan connect and this, I'm not alive, so I would need another move here. So that means I can't just adopt that strategy. I have to like push out somehow. Maybe I can play this. It's sort of like another version of this, because if he pushes this way, I just extend. And then I either get to Hana here or connect back. If he turns here, I get to go here, and then I might be able to run out and somehow escape. I can also make a call with this Hana and connect, and that would be fine. No, it wouldn't be. If it turns out like that, then I should have just lived down here in the first place. Man, this, this music really is way too uh, suitable. <laughs> as soon as I hummed, I, I was imagining uh, Toya Koyo. Toya Koyo. Okay, I like, think this is the most confusing move for him, so I'm just playing this. It's also the farthest out on the outside, so it might be the best for the case where I sacrifice all this. Honestly though, I'm not very stressed because um, like, I just have so much already that I can just make a compromise and cut my losses and reduce from here and here. Hmm. Although at this point I do believe that there's some sequence for me to get out of this. <laughs> Starting with, hey, what happens if I push down and cut? Doesn't do much. But then if I push out, I also might not be accomplishing anything. I kind of want to Hane here and see what he does. In this particular case though, I have more than usual fear of actually dying after he played this move. So I guess it was appropriate this time. First time. <laughs> but yeah, this move should stress him out enough because it's kind of affecting a lot of different things. Another reason is like, uh, I'm hoping that there could even be an eye here eventually um, if I threaten him in enough places around here first to make it I'm not afraid of this push because I just turn and even if he cuts me off over here it's gonna mess up his situation here. Whoa. That is strong. I mean that sarcastically but I'm not sure if I should be sarcastic about that. I see. He's trying to make sure, like, if he had have attached here, then this would have been sent Uh Actually, no, that's not a problem for him. I don't, I don't know why he played it here, but... Uh, let's see. Now there's a lot more hope for this push, actually, because this zone might eventually get captured. And I might even get this Sente, too, so... Things have changed. Now I'm... 
somewhat interested in this push. Oh, actually, soon, if he turns here, it's going to be a problem for me, kind of. So I could probably get this move now. Yes. Thanks to this stone, which is like acting like a magic stone now, I can actually I can actually play this nice move. Cause he can't cut me. Yeah, I don't really have any good forcing moves around here now. For for now. And I basically have to get out because of this, so yeah, um it's really it's either uh Actually, I have to get out fast because my base is gone. Seems like this knight's move is the way to go. It looks like this all happened to him because um, he, uh, partially because he didn't Atari that stone solidly and he played this one. Now he's like slightly paying for that. So if I go here, he's going to cut, then he has to play another move. But then I have stuff like this, and then descend, and then Atari, and then net. Because this descend would threaten these two. Oh, I have a lot of stuff I can do. Looks like I can extend here. And if I can, then the game might be kind of ending for him. Let's see. Uh, oh, that'll be Atari after he has the bamboo there. Oh, but still Sentai, actually. Yeah, he would still need to respond on this side, luckily for me. And then, uh, yep. Okay. Okay. Wow, the music again. It picks the perfect time to change. So I think with this he's wrecked. Thoroughly wrecked. So he has this whole thing to worry about too. Of course I need both this and that for it. I don't have any smooth way to save that stone in Sente, so I think I'll just continue with my original plan, which doesn't seem like um, he... Expecting it. Okay, I'm, part of me is expecting the uh, the victory claps pretty soon. Okay, if I were to be really hardcore, it's actually not that hardcore. If I push down, his whole thing is threatened. And I have this clamp to Suji, which might be fun. I could just do this now and his life is super sad. It seems like there's, oh, I clicked it. Oh, I clicked it. What? He's extending it out. Does he not know about nets? Also, this gives me another chance to maybe play here, but now my liberty is taken away by that accidental click of mine. So, I mean, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna be happy. I'm just gonna be happy. What is this? What is this? Five dead? Alright, good game, good game. Maybe I should be reviewing these games, but uh, maybe I'll worry about that when I have a bigger audience. Hey, 
The game has started. What the heck is this? Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I have two finished corners already. Oh, he's gonna do that thing that I always forget how to deal with, where the, they put a stone here. People keep doing that. Oh, what? He's playing the low super territorial variation. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty su I'm kind of surprised he didn't play a checking extension here. But I guess he was afraid that if he does that, I might jump in here. Because usually, uh, the 4-4 is pretty awkward against 3-3 three, three invasions when you have like an extension that's not all the way over. And it's just kind of in the middle somewhere. That usually turns 3-3 three, three invasion into a good move. Honestly though, now it's pretty big for me to extend around here because it's also a reverse sente. Playing here is really big normally because of um, this formation, but then his position here is low and he therefore he can't really make anything nice. So actually, so I'm either going to play this or I'm going to come low, but actually I want to end with Sente or at least make him feel more pressured to play here. So actually, yeah, I'll do this. I'm expecting this locally anyways. Because playing here is actually still pretty big, so I don't mind giving him this big corner if I can, uh... Okay, he played the version where I might be able to make a co here. That is fine with me. So if he's strong enough on the outside, then um, he'll be able to kill me unconditionally, I think. But, yeah, but, uh, for now this is just a weird shape that's like three stones and yet still doesn't perfectly have the corner. Okay, so, yeah, I don't really like the middle ground moves, so, um, and coming here doesn't make sense because I don't have room this way. So I either go all the way here and eventually maybe aim at things like this, but, uh, yeah, or I go right about here. There is also attaching, which could be fun to try to kind of get both. If Yohane's under... It would work really well for me, actually, because he would be groveling. Hey, I kind of want to attach. That would be just for fun. I'm going to attach because I don't know. It seems good in this case, or at least not horrible. Because it looks like moves like this even might be Sente eventually because of how tiny his space is. So it's pretty crude, but I'm going to push again, I think. Because in this particular shape, I actually want to play here later instead of this one. So, so sometimes people Hane here and then just, just extend lightly away. 
to turn that Hane into a Gote because of the Atari, but in this case, since I don't want that later, I also don't want it now. So... And this stone alone doesn't really disrupt his extending here, so I need to kind of keep going. But since he's so over-concentrated and his influence is going nowhere, sometimes this kind of thing can be playable. As long as I don't create a big weakness in here, I think I'm... I'm okay. I'm okay here. If I, if I push again, then there might be um, some, sti some things in here. But... There will be, actually, but... Uh, I could extend here and then treat it lightly if he comes in. Or I could go here, letting myself get pincered, and try to fight it out with this extra forcing move that I have here. Although he is still kind of alive locally. So maybe I should play light, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to treat that part a little more lightly now. This is basically where I wanted to extend before, but I was greedy and I didn't want him to extend here and make me have to play something like that or that. So I just took both. All right, I need to go and change my Twitch setting. How do I do this? What is that? He's playing Endgame now? Go community as well. I don't think Go is a community. No, okay, whatever. Uh, Go board game says it has zero viewers, but when I just type Go. I see a picture of a go board with 60 viewers. Should I put anything for community? It looks like no, right? such a weird move how do I respond to this I don't even think it works but I'd rather hmm, focus on the outside This move doesn't even work. 
I could probably go here. But I'd rather go here and give him less moves on the outside. Or even just go here and let him take away all this endgame stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw the territory. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, uh... Yeah, I just got distracted by my game. Okay, English. So I'm not putting anything for community. Title. Um, I just like title it um, just randomness, like whatever I want, right? Like Thai Gem Conquest or something. All right, let me know if my title sucks. I can definitely change it. Um, I'm just putting something quick for now. Okay, I clicked update. My real Thai gem rank is seven then though, so that's why I um, worded it the way that you see. <laughs> Riff rack. Okay, uh, I don't really owe any moves here, but I feel like this move is like just thick and nicer. Mm, yeah, I think. Yes, I should play here. Okay, so white extended here, and if he has another stone nearby, he can live in my corner with this move. This is something I learned the hard way in a tournament. Long time ago. It might actually work already because his stone is close enough, maybe. Uh, actually, there's a ladder involved. So white goes here, black, well, the greedy response anyway would be to block here. And then white extends, and if black wants to kill, black's going to need to drop down here. White's going to Hane and connect, or, or a co-shape. Yeah, okay, I need to play something, so I'll of course I could pincer here first, but then I have a lot going on. I'm just going to keep my cool, I think. I mean, yeah, I don't really care if white gets one more move around here. I'm, I'm really not too bothered by that. This is probably, a, honestly, this is probably a really slow, um, even timid move, but... I just, again, this game too, I feel pretty confident. I already have a lot of territory, so it's okay to let white get something, because between this group and this group, white has almost nothing. 
And even here, I can invade here, or I can make a co down here. So, and see, now it would pay off with being thick here, so. Uh, which, um, for this invasion, I mean, so. But then, uh, I think if I do one of these, the other one kind of disappears. But this one's only a co. Um, if this were unconditional life, then I would choose this one in a heartbeat, I think. But now that I'm so solid, although before that, maybe I can get a force to move here. That would be, that'd be awesome, actually. Because once white goes here, my timing is all messed up. I'm trying to fit this one in. But I need to make sure this actually is sent to A. Because it, it really might not be. Yeah, there's too much risk of it um, not being sente, so let's just take this. Even now, I'm pretty confident in this game. As long as I get out of this safely, I think white has too much trouble uh, catching up right now. He's going to play here. I assume he's going to play here. And I will probably attach here and then jump out this way to go faster. So when your opponent does this, like kicks you up and then plays this knight's move attacking over you, you you want to avoid having to attach here and let him haunt and get a lot of thickness. Um, there's usually ways around having to do that. Okay, this is like, if this is not over concentrated, I don't know what is. And this is really soft on me too, um, because like this group's actually pretty like volatile. It's pretty not strong like you can invade here so that's why you people usually kick and then respond again on this side with a jump or a nice move so okay i'm just gonna jump out i have absolutely no fear with this group because i have so much support and so much space i'm probably not even gonna bother trying to make a co here either if black plays a move like this he deserves to own these points So if I come this way, it's really slow, and also um, white might be able to lean on this side. It's not it's not the easiest thing to do, but white might it might work for white. So this is more space anyway, so it makes sense to just come out on this side. What I don't want to do is force here because that just helps white solidify. So I want to choose a sequence that doesn't need that if I can. Of course, I could attach here. And just get really good shape um, in exchange for letting white also solidify a little bit. It seems like I should just be happy with this, yeah. I don't see much better. I could come out this way, I guess. But I'd rather keep this, this white stone weak. Okay, so if I just extend instead of exchanging that, it's probably better because it leaves this weakness remaining. And even maybe this cut. So I'm gonna just not exchange that. Even though I would get a nice shape from that, but I mean, why do I need a nice shape when I'm already out? And then next, if I do something like this, white's just stranded here. So clearly this attack is not working properly for white. <sighs> that is random. <laughs> So I'm expecting a cut. Oh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. That's usually not good. So let's see what white does with it. At this point, it's enough for black to just take this. But even if I block here, actually, white's um, a co. White has to play here. And I, I also don't stand to lose much from this co. But do I even want a co? Ooh. Okay, this probably doesn't work, but it'd be cool to have two co's at the same time and then guarantee winning one of them. 
I don't think I can do that. <laughs> so I'm even tempted to ignore because I don't know yet if I want this one or I want this one. Yeah. Or maybe I want this one. Which, uh, if white connects, white would be dead locally, except that white has that Hane, which would make him uh, more alive. Seems like attaching here even um, could indirectly be threatening to kill this whole thing. Because it seems like just capture this zone kills white locally unless white can escape. So I'm going to be looking at this, but um, I really want to play something around here. Maybe maybe even just the close to me because strand making this thing stranded uh, should make white's life pretty sad. This was originally an attack on black, and white still has this weakness too. Hmm. Oh man, do I even want to play anything here? But I don't want white connecting and having this cut left over. I don't want to do, okay, this plan of attaching would have been nice to um, threaten two things at the same time, but then this one will get stronger and I won't be able to use it as a resource with the fight with this zone and with this weak group over here. I want to be able to lean on it or things of this sort in the case of fighting around here. So I'm just going to be very calm about this and so that it make myself really thick over here. Because this is a bad result for white, even though white lives in my corner. It's just way too low. It's like a, it's kind of like this stuff down here. It's just like this really end game stuff that's happening like a hundred moves too early, more than a hundred moves even. Hmm. And now uh, anything around here is Overtime going to be sent to. I was just worried this move is too slow. That is so unreasonable. What? Wow. I think if I orchestrate this right, either this is going to die or this whole area here is going to turn into a moyo out of nowhere. Nine, eight, so... Seven, six. Five, four, three, two. I guess I'll start with this. Locally speaking, uh, this threatens to kill stuff. Okay, so now I'm all ready to attack this. Just checking for what I can do around here. Nine, okay, eight, uh, seven, six, yeah, there's there's five, stuff happening here. Four, That's awesome. But I'm not really worried about this two, right now. It's too small. One, zero, 
but it looks like I can capture um, at least these two stones at the very minimum. Probably this one too, just by pushing, atariing, atariing, throwing in, atariing, and then killing everything. Uh, I don't need another move on this side. Maybe closing Nine, off this side would be eight, nice. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'd rather not lose another period of view on me, so I'm just going to block from this side. It's not a perfect block, but uh, I'll treat these lightly, I guess. Even if I play here and try to sacrifice those, white might Atari down and get some stones to help this. So actually, I think I should just keep getting center with something like this. I'm going to give white some points here if they really want it. Because I'm going to get this one and or this one. So I don't even care what happens. Maybe that could have used a little more thought. Let's see. I might be... Oh, I thought white would push through here and make some weird... Huh? I really thought white would push here. And then when I Atari here, give up... Um, give up something. But wow, this is so good for me. This is just... The dream. Well, it would be plenty just for me to go here, but uh, all right, I'll do what you're expecting me to do. <laughs> Why not? I do have some bad potential with all these Ataris, but at this point, like if it means getting all this territory, um, I can just ignore some co certain co-threats. I mean, what does white even have as co-threats? Not too much. If he's Ataring there, then I can just connect here, but okay, I guess I'll just do this one and fight it at least once. So that way can give me something over here. Another option might have been this one. But I'd rather make white feel like they are um, giving up points for these co threats. So I don't have much reason to not to just connect here, and I definitely don't have a co threat. So I think a key thing here though with the thinking is that uh, I need to not be too hardcore and try to just kill this and kill everything and get all the center because that's that's going to lead to mistakes. I already have uh, potential to get a lot of points here if I play first. Um, a good corner here, definitely some random like points here and other part parts of the center that are going to be mine. Whoa. That is like so reckless. Okay, maybe this one will die. Hmm. I don't I don't see any special moves for white around here. So that is Nine, good. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, I'm just gonna double honey here and see what white does. Just the brute force uh, method because I also don't really know what to do. There's a lot of when you have this large scale fighting, it's it takes time to think of the perfect plan. Nine, eight, 
I don't want white to play a tiger's mouth and make it harder for me to um, cut him off from here with this hane. So I'm doing it this way uh, so that I can at least keep him away from here. I'm not trying to kill him. It's just um, maybe this fight will facilitate capturing this once and for all over here. And then I can do bad things to this group here. And then I can start playing end games, and I will be ahead. I'll, maybe I'll play this one. Uh, okay. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Something like three. this should be the right idea. Okay, true that. Yeah, maybe I should have switched actually. Just now I should have switched to this fight. Because I don't have anything to lose by not playing another move here. But now he had the chance to play a fix. A, a s partial fix, but uh, yeah, okay. I probably should have played something here. Hmm. Well, this is another, another chance to see if I can do something here. I want to play here, but then um, if white connects and I try to connect under, I'm just a little bit worried that this might be Sente on this side and then... At the same time though, even if this stone gets captured, it might actually end up uh, having a function inside anyways, like kind of like when you put a stone inside to get a better end game reduction on a corner. Alright, he's too hard to attack now. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna throw this in and see because I don't know. <laughs> it seems like the vital point regardless of what happens. Ah, now white is giving me this chance. Although even reducing the corner would be nice. But I think I should take this. Uh, yeah. That is fine with me. Okay, I'm not completely free of worries yet, of course. Maybe I should have even just blocked there. This is where thinking time comes Nine, in, man. Eight, <clears throat> seven, six, uh, I think five. this is safe, though. That is hardcore, man. That is very hardcore. Especially when you're just dead. What? What is this? What is this? I don't even know what he's trying to do. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, I feel like this does four, something. Three, two, one. This is probably bad, I just um, had a in, uh, flash instinct here. And then this one. This move 
like is probably just nonsense. Oh, that might do something now. Extend. Uh, nope, does nothing. All right, white's uh pretty screwed now. Okay, well, thanks to things here. Hmm, I do need to be a little careful. Alright, I'm gonna be super careful here, just because why not. Okay, that does not bother me. In fact, uh, it seems like there's a problem with his move. But it's a little bit on the complicated side, actually. Let's just do this anyways. I don't mind letting you reduce this if I get to chop even more off here. Wow. Wow. This one still isn't saved, and yet now I can just, um, like, capture everything. What? It feels like that moment when you're playing a bot, and then the bot just tilts and starts, like, I don't know, blue screen of death, like, just... Sodding. That's not even seven, connecting under. Six, five, four, three, two. I don't know. Not enough thinking time. Oh, and then I can go capture these. Right now, I could just peep here and cut, and it doesn't seem like White can do anything. That would be a little bit, um, chicken, I guess, but... Or just cut. Yeah, that's actually better. Pretty sure white is just super dead again. Okay, this actually does do some things with, um... All this stuff around here. Atari, push, Atari, Atari, and the liberties are affected. Probably gonna regret this. Probably gonna regret it. I think the thing I was just imagining is exactly what's about to happen to me. I'm ending up with a shape that's like short of liberties. Oh. Oh. This co. What the heck? Okay. That's actually not quite what I expected. That fair enough. Co, huh? But it seems like white still has lots of problems if I play this. All right, let's 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 live dangerously. I don't know. Like I'm probably risking so much more than I need to risk right now because the game was like kind of over for a while already. But uh, mm.
This is pretty hard co for white to win. And even if that group gets cut off, if I'm already safe with this one at that point, I can just um, start doing these things and get my second eye. So, I mean, that's that's why I went into this in the first place. At least I have, I, at least I have a good shot at not getting randomly wrecked. Uh, white is um, switching back to caring about that. Hmm. But the thing is, like, that was just recently not disconnected anyway, so I'm tempted to let white connect it up. Eh. Eh. I probably should just let white um, connect that up, but that just seems not as fun. I don't know. So now what? Play this. I still don't really see how white is going to be able to deal with this though, overall. And even if something bad happens to me, it would have to be pretty horrible for it to make up for this giant, giant, morbidly obese territory there. This isn't even that big anymore because I could cut this one off still. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, it's not so fun to let him get this though. It also kind of looks like my Moyo did get like really reduced so maybe I should have just connected here I just have too many like bad memories of throwing away one game by taking big risks <laughs> uh, but I mean white's territories are relatively piddly compared to what I still have so pretty sure white has no way to win this so maybe in that respect this was the correct choice I was very tempted to connect this though because the thing is that the life and death of this... Ah, I guess it's alive, yeah, never mind. What is White thinking about now? It's over, man. It's over. It is over. from the part where Isumi went to China and then he was coming back. That's actually the only time in the whole anime you hear that um, that short like electric guitar riff thingy. Come on, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? 10 minutes. Maybe if you spent as long thinking as I did, you wouldn't end up in this mess in the first place. I still don't get how every single one of these people has like 15,000 games. Like how? Have I even played that many in my whole life? Like, geez. And some of them are like 8Q and then they've played like 
20,000 games. It's crazy. I don't get it though. Every single person I play has a record like this. The only time I ever run in, like, when I do run into someone who has a more normal looking game record, usually they're strong and I lose or something. Like, they have like, uh, you know, 30 wins and 14 losses or something. Wait, why is the, the song playing not anime? Oh, it's an AMP. Okay there, okay. Let's just start this thing over from the beginning. I have watched this anime like almost seven times I think. I haven't actually watched it in quite a while though, but this was always my inspiration. Good anime, good anime. Okay, played it, played something, good. I wonder if eventually I can try to kill this whole thing. It's really, really hard though. I don't think that's ever going to be possible. So now I think I can start to transition into the end game. Uh, playing around here Nine, still seems pretty eight, big. I'll push anyways seven. to see what happens first. But I might not continue. And I'll Atari here once, even if I don't plan to continue, because uh, now that I've atari here, white needs to play two stones in here later. But if I didn't Atari, white would just put one stone, so uh, I think it makes a difference. So if I were to continue, I wouldn't want to Atari here, I would want to just Atari here. And if white connects, it's a Nine, total collapse. Eight, seven, six. Uh, I think I actually have time for this, which is pretty sad for White. I think White's going to respond, and I'm going to... Oh, actually, I won't finish in Sentai. Uh, if White, as long as White just plays something like this. Eh. Whatever. So should I continue that, or should I... I don't think it's big enough to cut White off here yet. Although I do have to think about these cuts, actually. That means white could connect something in Sente. No, actually it won't be Sente because this move threatens to make white, makes white go here and then I'll be able to cut here. So I'm probably okay here, but when I can, cutting will be big. If I play here and white responds, I can immediately go here and make white collapse. So white's gonna have to respond with something like that. Um, something like this would probably make white want to respond locally. I need to... There's a lot going on on the board though, so I need to make sure it's um, big enough. Nothing here seems actually that big because... Maybe this is pretty big, but... Yeah, if white plays here, I can connect here. If white plays here, I can take this. There really isn't that many points to be had by either player here, I think. But it is going to be big very soon if it's not already the biggest. I think White maybe didn't realize that um, this problem because he's taking a long time here. This seems, uh, yeah. Considering that locally speaking, it's Sente for White as well. 
I mean, I wouldn't respond if White did it now, but locally it's double sente, so uh, yeah, I think I will do this really soon, if not next. After that, I would probably... How big is it to take this? So if he plays here now, I take this, he ignores, then I get to take this as well. On the other hand... It's around 10 points, I guess. It's actually not that big. So this is definitely bigger. Even the follow-up of this move alone is worth more than a 10-point gote. So after this... Uh, everything here is really small. This is... Playing around here is one of the biggest moves, probably. Maybe this one, and then white, and then black. That's pretty big. Not necessarily bigger than this, but... Yeah, this one's definitely the best. And then after those, it would be something around here, I think. So now he decides to spend a lot of time thinking. I don't understand that. That should have been like a hundred moves ago before you were getting destroyed. Maybe he's counting. Yes, yes, please count so that uh, I can hear the clapping celebration noises. until he starts getting onto Yoyomi time pressure and then using uh, and then spamming counting requests to get more Yoyomi periods because that's what a lot of these guys do on Taijun I just finished a game like that earlier like last Yoyomi and then down to two seconds left and then they just ask me to count and I say no and it's back to 30 seconds Apparently, I discovered that I rediscovered that last uh, last game. Yeah, Tai Gem, you shouldn't condone this this kind of conduct, Tai Gem. Besides those moves I was talking about, I really don't know what I would want to play. So number one is I play here. Number two is... Mm, I'm not sure if this is quite 10 points, but I have this feeling that um, it's better to take this than to take this. Yeah. Uh, and then... I would take that if it's still there. Then after that, I would play here somewhere. I'm wondering if I could um, play this one. And then if white responds, I guess I take this.
Although if I even if I just take this, I think if White Hanes and I play here, White doesn't have a next. There's no uh, there's no working gimmick there after I've already taken this. That that might be better actually, because if I do this, then a move by White around here like connecting is sente. Although it's true that this move threatens this, so I don't know. But simple would be good. I think I probably want to continue locally with this move. Okay, I think white is um, planning to like wait me out. Overtime countdown has begun. Uh, sometimes they do this. Um, I mean, I, I, this guy might not be doing it um, to BM me because um, he did eventually play a move last time. So maybe he's counting and just having trouble with it or something. But a lot of these people just Nine, try to eight, test your seven, patience. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Two overtimes left. Okay, a move. That move doesn't work. That does not work at all. I am cutting that off right now. What is the best way that doesn't get me somehow wrecked? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. I think this is the safest way. Uh, or maybe I messed up there. <laughs> uh, I think I'm okay. He might get more up here than I had planned. I saw something bad, that's all. I saw something bad about... Um, Doing it this way because then he plays here I play here he plays here and I block and he cuts and then there's a liberty fight honestly I didn't even want to think about that so so I'm expecting this move because that's his only way to struggle here I think and then Seaman. His name is Seaman. Okay. I think I will stop there for now because things to do. Tire Gem Conquest. I'm planning to do one like starting from a much lower level. Um, kind of like what I started and stopped on, on YouTube. One more game. Usually when I'm at 5 den though, I want to try for a double rank up, so this is unfortunate. Because <laughs> the thing with the 6 dens, right, like they're definitely a lot uh, more challenging than the 5 dens. Um, especially because like a long time ago you could uh, register as a 5 den to start off instead of 3 den. So a lot of the people who are still here at 5 den might, might be um, from that time. So I don't know, somehow a lot of the 5 dens are really easy, but... The six stands, a lot of them are a lot more challenging. I actually still can try to get double rank up. No, not double rank up. Well, I can get something close to double rank up score against the six stands, but the problem also is that, uh, you know, when they're losing big time and just like this guy, they don't resign. They are a lot better than the five dance at just continuing it as like a battle of attrition and then making you mess up because you're not paying attention anymore so like when i play six then i i get a good record still but then i have a lot of games where i lose because it's just like over a long time ago and i and i'm not really focusing anymore so that's why i would like to double i would have liked to double rank up from five because then i could just get to seven and basically have some really challenging games like seven is not that challenging but it's definitely my level like it's like i would expect to win like half i guess on seven maybe a bit more actually i think i could push to eight if i really focus but if i'm playing like five games in a day or something 
Uh, the quality probably won't be enough to get me to 8 then, but I think if I play one game a day, I can definitely do it. Because Taijam ranks are not that strong. Like KGS even, I can't even get 6, so KGS ranks are a lot stronger. Okay, that is it.